Well, we're here. We are here at Port Everglades, about to jump on Royal Caribbean's Odyssey of the Sea. Looking forward to it, and this is uh, Royal Caribbean's newest ship? Yes, it is. It's actually, we're here for the naming ceremony this weekend, so yes. that's pretty cool. So after six long weeks in the RV, it feels good to be back on a cruise ship. Let's do it. Let's go. I'm buzzing, let's drink up your death. Look like big fun. Come on, let's get it on. Like that one. That check in is like that. What do you think so far? This is awesome. Nice ship. This ship is beautiful. I love the layout that I'm seeing so far. There are so many venues yeah. that we won't explore. We're going to go find our room and drop our backpacks off. <laughs> yeah, already got mustard done. It's like quick. It's so easy. They yeah. scanned us in. We're to, going to our room, dropping our backpacks. I love the electronic boarding passes. You know, with Carnival, we oh, had to yeah. print them and get them stamped and all that. This is so awesome. It's fast. They scan everything. You're like, boom, 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 done. Yeah. All right, we are off to the room. Man, this ship is awesome. They are making these things look more and more like shopping malls on water. I mean, this thing is incredible. Where's our room? Our keys aren't there. We have to go oh. to guest services. Well, bummer. We gotta go down to guest services, get our keys. Boo! <laughs> you don't have to touch the button, you just hover your finger in front of it, and it turns on. <laughs> All right, here is our balcony cabin. So welcome to our balcony cabin. I like the layout of this, it's like got nooks and crannies and it's it's so different than a standard straight on balcony there's a corner bathroom like literally it's inset into the corner that's really cool i like that royal caribbean rounds the beds off so it helps with um the walking flow that's cool good bed let's see are they the oh i don't think they're the smush pillows i hate smush pillows Tons of storage. I mean, I can fit in that closet. It's that big. And there's another one on that side. And this is cool, I've never seen this before. Look at this storage up here. I've never seen storage above the bed like that. So for two people, you're, you've got way more storage than you're gonna need in this cabin. All right, so this is like one of those little corner unit bathrooms. You've got your shower. I love the rounded glass door. It gives you so much more room. Um, sink, mirror, toilet. Small, compact, but plenty of room to do what you need to do. It's a good size bathroom it for is. this size room, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Okay, so over here in the living area, we have a sofa on one side and a desk and a chest of drawers on the other. And there is a mini fridge in the chest of drawers. There's also where your hair dryer is. But I think this desk is so neat. That chair is one of the coolest little chairs I've ever seen. There's a handle on the back of the chair. It's just me. I think it's cool, but it's a neat chair. And this is a balcony cabin. You want to see the balcony? This is a good deep balcony. A lot of them are, you know, kind of tight, but I cannot even touch from one side to the other. So this is a good size balcony. We've got two chairs, two ottomans out here. I don't see a table. We just kind of usually see a table, but the door opens up in the middle. There's one right there. Oh, I missed the table. There it is. Okay, we're all checked in. We got our keys. We're in our room. Did our tour. And of course, like clockwork, you gotta eat as soon as you get on a ship, right? So that's where we're going. Buffet, here we go. Yeah. Jason's plate. I already ate one of these. Um, I cheated when Elisa went to the bathroom, but you don't typically get lobster on a buffet, but today is a special day because it's the naming ceremony for the Odyssey of the Seas, which they're gonna do that here shortly. 
lobster, y'all. Warm butter. Uh, oh. So you have to tell me, am I completely crazy to be eating a salad when there's this special buffet going on? I don't eat seafood like he does, so that doesn't appeal to me. But they have these really good pre-made salads. I just added some chicken to it, and then fruit kebabs. I love fruit. That looks delicious. So I'm going to eat as good as I can. Sorrento's is going to be my downfall. I know it. Shrimp are big, too. Mm. Those are massive. <laughs> Cruise time. Yep. Very, very nice solarium. It's got the nice little peaceful music like that they play in the spas. It's just real soothing. And Elisa's already found her a little spot right here. <laughs> it's very nice. They got the sunshine bar right up there. You can just go grab your cocktail or beer. And the multi-tiered pool is interesting. It's got little waterfalls kind of coming down. And then of course, my favorite spot, the hot tub. I could sit in that thing all day. Yes, you can. <laughs> so we're here, we've got our spot for the naming ceremony of Odyssey of the Seas. It's about to start in about five minutes. It's supposed to be a really good presentation. We got live music and I heard there's fireworks at the end. They just brought me a bucket. I did not ask for this. I did not order it, but they brought me a bucket. So I'm going to drink it. That's got a tart to it. to the naming ceremony of Odyssey of the Seas. Are you ready? Can I have a bit more on this microphone? I feel like I need to make an impact. Ladies and gentlemen, we're tropical themed. Here we are in the lime and coconut. We're outside. Isn't it beautiful? We've never done this before. This is the first poolside. Make some noise. means a long journey full of adventures and when we started to design this ship more than four years ago today what we envisioned was exactly that the chairman and the CEO of the Royal Caribbean group the one and only Mr. Richard Fain <laughs> down against the side of the ship and hopefully break the bottle and not the ship. <laughs> so, with that I will say, Michael, could I have the coconut please? <laughs>
That was cool. It was really cool. So we've never been to a naming ceremony of a ship before. It's it's official, but it's fun, and just seeing the whole process was cool. What's neat is behind us, they drained the top of the pool and put chairs here, and this yeah. is where they held it. So now they're... Um, that was the VIP section. Yeah, well, anybody could sit there, but <laughs> we could... Um, now they're chaining it up so they can fill it back up so it's normal for tomorrow. But yeah, so we're waiting to sail away. They said it might be seven, it might be later, so there isn't a sail away party because we kind of just had a massive ceremony. So um, yeah, we're gonna just decide if we're gonna stay up here or go get dinner or go catch a show. The shows look fantastic. You know, all of the above sounds good to me. Maybe we could just do a little bit of it all. Yes, we could. All right, well, in the books, that's a first for us. Naming ceremony, check. That was super cool. If you ever get a chance to do it, definitely recommend doing that. That is awesome. The gear. We've been working. Yeah. The, the gear and the beer. The gear and the beer. These are empty. Main ingredients. Hey, gentlemen, we hope everyone enjoyed the naming ceremony. For those who may have missed it, we ended the ceremony with an ice bowl celebration. The President's Cruise with Michael Bailey is back and will take place in the last frontier for the first time ever on board Ovation of the Seas on June 24th, 2022, sailing from Seattle. You can take part in glacier gazing, Alaska's oldest highlights, and up to having fun on the Odyssey of the Seas. So we're at the Crown and Compass and we are having it's a pub. some beer. It's a pub and we got live music. We got a gentleman up here playing his guitar, doing a fantastic job, by the way. First night, it's always good. And also, the first two nights of this trip, drinks are on the house. Schooner. Schooner? Schooner. What'd you call it? This, this is the Schooner bar. The Schooner. So, this is the <laughs> so the Schooner's got kind of a ship built feel to it. Like there's pulleys and yeah. ropes and it's kind of got like a, you're on a old timey ship. Yeah. There's a piano guy that's going to start in about 10 minutes. So that's what we're in here for. Just checking out different venues on the ship. Yeah. One by one. We'll send to the different music. We went in Boleros and um, the Crown and Compass Pub had a guitar guy. That was great. Now the piano guy's here. So it's going to bust a move tonight. Just checking things out. Yeah, making our rounds. Most of the time we don't do that, but we got two nights with free alcohol. It's on the house. So, Stop saying that. So, you know, we gotta, we got to bust a move. So we're in the theater, and we are going to go see Showgirl. So with this two-day event, we can see every show that Odyssey of the Seas has to offer. But we're going to stay on for five more days, so we don't have to cram them all in. We are going to see one tonight. So today was a weird day time-wise. We didn't get breakfast until like 10 o'clock and we didn't have lunch until like 2.30. So we kind of skipped dinner and now here it is 11 o'clock and we're starving. And it's just as good as I remember it. This is to me the best pizza on a cruise ship. Sorrento's on Royal Caribbean, good stuff.